All right, folks, so today we're going to go through the Prilipin chart and we're going to really try to talk about how we can apply our thoughts on looking at the different percentages and loads we're utilizing with our athletes and how that's going to make sure they're getting sufficient volume in, not too much, not too little. So in the upper left, we're going to see the normal Prilipin chart where we're going to see what's the load the individuals are using. So that's within 60, 70% of their max, 70, 80, et cetera. And then what is the minimal number of reps we want to be doing? So we're having a training effect. What's to be optimal per session? And then what's the high end or essentially the maximum amount of volume we do have them do per set? Now, as we keep looking to the right, we then have just some simple percentages that I put together. If we simply take the optimal number of reps that they're doing in that given day, and then we're using that as the divider of the low end and the high end reps. So we see that for the 60 to 70% range, if you just hit the minimal, you're really getting only about 75% of the way to what would be optimal dosage. And if you go to the high end, you're at about 125%. And we're gonna see how that essential range increases a little bit as we go up in load, and that's okay. But that's more useful when we start thinking about the total reps we're having the athletes use. So when we look down on the bottom left, you can see that given different percentages of the max, well, if we have an athlete come in and do a five by five, it's 70 to 75% of the max, well, it's 25 total reps. So that's, that's on the high end of that percentage range for total reps, but they're still gonna get a really good training effect from it. Meanwhile, if we then go ahead and look at the six by five at 65%, 30 high end again, we're good to go a four by four at 80%. We're pretty close to being an optimal of where we wanna be there. We're getting 16 total reps in. And then when we look at just doing three doubles at 90%, we're on the low end of optimal, but that's still, that's a lot of loading and a lot of sets. But in reality, we're gonna have our athletes warm up. So when you look to the far right, that would be the idea of a day where you're having an athlete do five sets of three at 85% of their max. It'd be a pretty challenging lifting day, but quite possible. Now, the last two warm-ups beforehand that we're gonna count are gonna be sets of five at 65% and a set of five at 75%. Well, those are volumes adding to the total volume they're doing. So what we can then use to conceptualize, if you see the column in the center of reps, well, each rep accounts for so much of a percent towards what their max is going to go ahead and be and what they're gonna be able to obviously perform. So we want to think about effectively how much does one rep matter when it comes to getting in the total volume they need for that given day? And so if we then take, based on that rep multiplier, the rep we have in that given percentage range multiplied over, we get the volume done in that range in the Prolopin chart. And then as we add the loads we did in the 60 to 70, 70 to 80, and the 80 to 90, we see that we got in more than enough volume in the Prolopin chart for that day when we're talking about optimal volume. So not all athletes are obviously going to do every single set at the exact same percentage, but use this as a way to think about how once we get up heavy enough, warm sets are going to count, especially if we were doing working sets at in the 85 plus percent range. We're going to have to take some sets to warm up there. And those sets are going to give a little bit of, of fatigue, not that much, but still enough that we need to address it and make sure that we're utilizing that for figuring out how much work our athletes should be doing. So thanks for listening. Please leave a comment if you have any questions. Have a great day.